Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome, my name is Enzor, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you so much, Enzor, and as is customary, because you introduced us, you get a, uh, a shout proper shout out. Yeah. yeah, at the end of the episode. All right, so today we have a few different news stories. Uh, today I'd like to no, talk. No, it's newsy type whatever. Newsy type whatever. Jesus, it's newsy type ah. whatever. Okay. Okay, so I've got a few newsy type whatever. I've got two. Zach has one. Today I wanted to talk to you about what happens if you don't return your video rentals after about <laughs> ten years. Right. You wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk to you guys about YouTube gaming. Now I'll get into this shortly, but it's a new audience. Or it's a new platform that caters to gaming. It's pretty cool. Cool. And then I wanted to talk to you about um, some uh, the, the evil, the scourge of the internet, which is companies <laughs> stealing your YouTube footage. Yeah. And getting away with it. And getting away with it, too. Yeah. Kayla Michelle Finley recently got arrested for not returning a video <laughs> in 2005. What was the movie exactly, can we say? Uh, yeah, we can say it was uh, Monster-in-Law, which was a Jennifer <laughs> Lopez movie. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure what exactly is the most embarrassing, the fact that she got arrested, the fact that she got arrested for something so stupid, or the fact that she got arrested for Boy. something so stupid, and it's a Jennifer Lopez movie. <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. Um, if I've offended you, if you're a Jennifer Lopez fan... Or I'm if sorry. you're Jennifer Lopez. Or if you're Jennifer Lopez. If you're yeah. Jennifer Lopez... <laughs> If you want to read the full thing, it's in the description. I want to use this as a way to talk about the way that digital media, um, and I'm talking about like Hulu, Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime, right. whatever. Um, it allows a for this kind of thing not to happen. Right, you're not going to get arrested <laughs> for watching Netflix movies. And I hope not. Right, anytime soon, anyway. Yeah, it's not like Netflix is like YouTube. Like there is no strange part of Netflix. <laughs> you had a newsy type, whatever. Right. So as I mentioned earlier, YouTube gaming. Now, we uploaded a trailer about this a few days ago with regards to saying Heartbeat, maybe, or, or YouTube Gaming is using a Heartbeat logo. Uh, no, I think that was just George being a little bit facetious. Yeah, no, like of, just... of course, of course. Now, the thing about it is, as a YouTube content creator, I don't have a lot of time to upload as much as I'd like, but my foundation for why I'm even here sitting on the couch is because of gaming. Like, this is where I started, was in the gaming community, and I've always found myself having troubles growing or, or trying to interact with other people in the gaming community. So recently, Google, or you know YouTube, they created a separate platform called YouTube Gaming. Now, have you actually looked into it? I think you have. I have a little bit, yes. Okay. It kind of looks like um, because sure. they couldn't buy like Twitch, yeah. they just said, you know what? You screw it. We're yeah. going to make our own. We're <laughs> own. So, yeah, I mean, anyway, the, the whole purpose of this is YouTube Gaming. It caters to a new audience or really an existing audience, but it moves it over into a more, what, what's the word? I uh, Facility. I, 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 I words. I can't. I don't know. It, it moves it over into a more prioritized community where things are separated. So you guys can actually visit this. I think it's play.gaming.youtube. We'll put a link in the description. Yeah, the link will be down below. Make sure you guys go check it out. I absolutely love the homepage. You guys can interact with the actual logo itself, and every time you click a logo, it makes a, a different game. It makes yep. different sounds. It, I was smiling ear to ear. It brought back so many memories from my childhood. But you guys can go there. You guys can watch live streams, gaming moments, YouTube videos, every thing at the click of a button. I mean, I like it. YouTube Gaming. It, yeah. it, it, a link will be down below. Go check it out, guys. I'm definitely going to use it as soon as it comes out. Just make sure to click the triangles because that's the most fun, <laughs> the fun yeah. you're going to have right now. I love not it only so that, much. but um, I also get this feeling like between YouTube Kids and then yeah. now YouTube Gaming, like YouTube is segmenting the audience into uh, into little segments. Right. They're segmenting into segments. Now, the only issue I have is when you upload to the YouTube platform, is it still going to go over to the gaming side? I would assume it would. It should. Okay. I, I don't have confirmation okay, on that. Okay, because I'd like it to do that way. I'd like the community to stay as is. But if we could move it over to a new platform where gamers could you know, work yeah. together, I like that. So All right. you had another newsy type whatever? I have another newsy type whatever. <laughs> um, right. A user by the name of... Tau Fidmas, oh, I don't know. He's yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah he's mad. again, words. <laughs> right. um, he recently had his footage stolen by the Weather Channel. Now, I don't know what you know about this, but normally when a website wants to use your footage, um, if they just embed the video, that's totally fine. All right, and it actually helps your channel, gives you a lot more traffic and all that stuff. But if they take your YouTube footage off of YouTube and put it somewhere else, they're supposed to contact you, get your permission, they're supposed to, um, you know, give you like tax forms and right. all kinds of stuff, which means you got to share your personal information. 
Uh, it's kind of a messy legal thing. Yeah. Um, but apparently, this guy, um, he, they used his, they contacted him, and he said, you know, no, I don't really feel comfortable with that. Just link the video, right? Right. And they just basically said, we're going to do what we want. Um, and it's turned into this big thing. Um, and I would uh, show you a clip to the video, but he's just going to repeat what I said. If you like the full video, it is linked down there. But the real thing about it is, since this video, I'm not trying to be off topic, since this video gained traction, right? How many other YouTube content creators have even went through this? Like, I'm sure there have probably been hundreds of videos of people who have made content, and they should probably still don't know about it, and companies have re-uploaded it and stole the footage. Mm -hmm. And there's that's, nothing they can do about it. Yeah, that's one of the sad things about the platform in general yeah. is there aren't a whole lot of checks and balances. I mean, on YouTube, you could always use like Content ID and just issue a takedown. But <laughs> you can't do what that. do you do when like the Weather Channel, yeah. you know, takes your footage and uploads it to their site? Like, it doesn't give you a whole lot of um, you know options. Right. But anyways, so now time for comments. Here we go. So comment number one comes from Shillianth? Shillianth. Shillianth. I cannot pronunciate that. Now she goes on to say, I literally laughed out loud when Anthony said a little OCD about the pillow cushions. Yes. He really is OCD about that. They have to be perfect. See, they, they aren't even perfect now. And he'll sit there for days and do it. They haven't been perfect the whole time. Are you kidding me? So then she goes on to say, they should be on the lounge, not on the top of it, lol. She said, agreed, make Friday about freedom. It's great to get updates and a little bit of news. It makes me feel in the loop. And uh, what? And then she said, what's with the funny thing at the bottom of the screen? Is it Chewbacca? <laughs> All right. Okay. You go ahead and talk about it? No, it's, it's your hat. Sure. You this is actually a hat that is hiding our ghetto rigged um, <laughs> a Blue Yeti microphone. We don't have a microphone stand, <laughs> so this is actually hiding the, uh, the Blue Yeti inside of a G Fuel cup that, is, that we are using. So th that is the story with that. User Astonishing Studios says that that camera is unacceptable. Um, I'm a little bit confused by this. Um, it's a fine camera. Um, now I will be honest, we're still getting in the in the habit of using it for this purpose. Right. Um, and we may upgrade at some point. However, the camera that you're viewing this on is. Uh, I mean, I think it's a fine camera. Yeah, perfect, perfect. If you have any specific ideas or problems with this particular camera, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will try to figure out all the settings and doodads and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And then for comment number three comes from Game Sense. Now, he says, it would be cool to have, like, a freedom pillow in between you two. And then smiley face or winky face. I'm not sure what the emoticon is. Either way, I do like a freedom pillow. I would like a freedom pillow. I think we should get like, freedom Like, I have a freedom pillows. blanket. Yeah. I should, you know what? I should probably put the freedom blanket, like, right, right here. there. Yeah. With the freedom logo. Yeah. I like that idea. So, we're going to get Jimmy. 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 Uh, can you make us a freedom pillow? All right. So Jimmy's gonna go make us a freedom pillow. I'm not sure when, but we might have it pretty soon. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Hopefully, who knows? All right. All right, and then I have another one here um, from Snake Man Gaming. Says sub to me, guys. I must say I have a fine channel. Um, little. I'm gonna try to do this. It's like a really. <laughs> what I think the... That, that's the face. I think. I think that's the Jesus. face. Jesus. All right. Um, and then Desectra, our own personal freedom cheerleader, um, says, keep uploading and don't spam the comment section. My personal um, suggestion to all of you is to do like Enzor did and create an opener for us, which means that we are going to feature your yes. channel yes. and talk cool. about your channel with a meaningful shout out. Enzor, right. um, who introduced us today, gets a meaningful shout out. And um, and as part of that, I'd like to kind of go over his channel just a little bit. Right. So so Enzo is a YouTube content creator. He does a lot of gaming videos, all sorts and varieties of content. You really like One in particular that I found amazing was the fact that I didn't even know that Game of Thrones was a game. <laughs> like, yeah, neither did I. Yeah, I, I thought that it was just like the name of the show, the name of the book. But apparently there's like Game of Thrones the game or right. something. Yeah. And so I was shocked by that and I stopped by, I watched a little bit. And um, he also, didn't you just hit a, mi a mind stone? Yeah, mind stone. He, he, a mind stone, yeah, where this is Minecraft 2. But he also just hit a milestone of 500. Five, what is it, zero, zero? Five so, I don't know. Yeah, something like something Numbers, like that. I don't do numbers. It's too many. 500 subscribers. You guys should go to his YouTube channel, let him know the Freedom Family supports him, and say... And here's what I want you to right, do. Yeah. Everyone who goes to check out his channel, in the comment section of his video, I want you to leave hashtag rehash. Yeah, rehash. Spam it hashtag rehash. <laughs> you can leave any comment you yeah. want, but I want you to spam his comment section 
yeah. with hashtag rehash <laughs> so that he knows yeah. that he's been rehashed. Yeah, rehashed. Yeah. We gotta start doing that. Yeah. And that brings us to the close of today's episode. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And don't forget to be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later.